Hello crafty friends, my name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. It is the last day of the month, which is when I like to share what has came in my P.O. box for the month. Some of these will be show us your sheet load cards, others will be just because cards, but I always love to get them. If you're ever interested in showing us your sheet load, whether it's by sending in a card for this end of the month video or sharing online, check out the description box below for the updated guidelines video. And if you want to send a card or note just because, my P.O. box is always located toward the bottom of the description box. Before I open my mail, I did want to let you know about a video that went live to the public yesterday. And that was my invitation for you to the upcoming free virtual crafty retreat hosted by Not Too Shabby. I, along with the other instructors you see on screen, will be taking part in a free virtual event this fall. So make sure to check out yesterday's video to get more information, including the exclusive sheet load of cards I will be sharing with registered attendees. Let's go ahead and open up my mail so you can find out why this is one of my favorite videos to make each month. Up first is a card from my crafty Danish friend, Joe O from Denmark. She used the May 2024 sheet load layout to create this hello card. It's hard to see on camera, but there is so much shine on this with all of the gold metallic pieces. This thank you card came from Beth J from Florida, and her note inside said she tried out some new techniques for it, including some of my favorites, which is stenciling in a rainbow. Love it, Beth. And on a side note, you know, she's from Florida, and I don't know if I have any Swifties out there in my subscriber base, but does anybody else now, when they see the word Florida, they're like, Florida? <laughs> Let me know if you do down in that comment section below. Delina A. of North Carolina sent in two pieces of mail this month. The first on the left was a very sparkly 4th of July card. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't pick up any of the foil, including on the other card and pieces she sent in. Inside of the card with the roses on the front was a note about it being National Rose Month, which I know if my mom were here, she would love it because it has to do with flowers. And then she sent me all of these little kind of ephemera pieces and every single one is foiled. Thank you so much. Shelly S. from Texas sent me this beautiful hello card using the May 2024 sheet load of cards. I love those florals and how she has put her sentiment on some of that paper from the background and popped it up in the middle of the card. And not pictured was a teeny tiny rainbow sticker on the inside, which I am sure she knew I would love. Michelle A. from Arizona used the June 2024 sheet load of cards for this beautiful Thinking of You card. I love the color palette and the florals on this. On her note on the inside, she says that she just realized she has 52 sheet loads printed out, which Michelle, the video I'll be sharing tomorrow is the 60th sheet load, so you might want to hunt some more of those down. She also mentioned she's hoping for a Christmas in July, and then wrote hint hint, well hint hint, you might be pleased by my first set of cards using the July sheet load. Make sure to check out tomorrow to see what I created. Janet B. from Montana used the May 2024 sheet load to create this patriotic celebration card. I love that she created that decorated envelope and her stripes around the center and her stars are either glittery or shiny. This next card came from Jeff M. of North Carolina. And I just want to warn you, you might want to get a tissue ready. I know that I might have to stop while I'm telling you about this card. Um, it is from the husband of... Uh, hold on. So, it is from the husband of one of my channel members. And he wanted to let me know that she had unexpectedly passed away. And you guys, seriously, it, yeah, I almost have no words. And... 
He had my address because Rhonda, who was his wife, has been or was one of my very long time channel members at the paper trimmer level member and I would send her cards each month with little notes. So the fact that he took the time to let me know this meant so much and I know Jeff probably is not watching this video but just in case Jeff I am so sorry for your loss. Um, I treasured Rhonda as a channel member and I hope that you and your family and everyone who loved her is um, healing as best as you can from this. I wanted to take a minute to share a little bit about Rhonda um, from what I know about her. She has been a paper trimmer level member for over three years, guys, almost from the start. And she, like many of my members actually, was not known to me by seeing comments from her all the time or seeing her in the live chat. She was just like a silent supporter. Um, you know, she is probably like many of you who watch the videos and gives, gives me the thumbs up, but you're not necessarily leaving comments or, you know, joining me on my lives and chatting, which I just wanted to say that even my quiet crafty friends are greatly appreciated for each of your views and thumbs up and shares. May Rhonda rest in peace. Lori K from Minnesota also went with a patriotic theme for her card, but she used the June 2024 sheet load of cards. I love that patriotic scene there split between the three pieces and paired with that blue and white polka dot. On her note, not only did she tell me a couple touching and sentimental things as well, but she mentioned how she thinks each of the new sheet loads is her favorite, and then she sees the new month. I think that's also kind of like me. I always think, oh, this is my favorite, and then I create the new one, and I fall in love with it. Let me know down in that comment section below if that's how you feel as well. Barbara S. from Florida sent in this thinking of you card using the June 2024 sheet load. I love that soft color palette and it's kind of hard to see in the photo but that background blue cardstock has the neatest plaster embossed effect. So cool. Brenda G from Utah sent me this awesome thank you card and actually it should be me thanking her. She is another one of my longtime subscribers, supporters, channel members and I love the note inside and I love how she has used those strips on the top. That would be a great way to use up some scraps. And speaking of channel members, this next card came from EDC of Idaho, who is also one of my members who receives mail from me. It was a special treat to get a card from her where she told me more about herself, and I love that ribbon on the front and that cute little girl. Up next is a card from Jennifer S. of Oklahoma, and she has created a card with a gorgeous, colorful background and a black and white focal point, which you know I love. Not only did she create this beautiful card for me, but she sent me a set of the stencils that she used to create it. These came from close to my heart, and inside the package is a set for A2 card and slimline cards. Now I know they might be hard to see because they're clear, so here I have them on a piece of cardstock to help you out. I cannot wait to use these on an upcoming card. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Up next was a package from Carmen B. of Colorado. Not only is she a crafty friend, supporter as a channel member, but she is also on my sheet load and oh so inspired pins. And by her note on the front, you know she knows I love a rainbow. She sent me this beautiful paper pad from Stampin' Up! All right, I thought we could flip through this paper together in a little video instead of a still photo. And I was going to get it set up for a photo, so I was looking at the fronts and backs. And guys, I love the fronts, which I'll show you in a minute. But wait until you see the backs. <laughs> so it looks like there is four of each pattern, which how fun is that? But you guys, I flipped it over and I about passed out. Oh, <gasps> look at that.
I am in love. Oh my goodness, Carmen, thank you so much. Now, if you have also fallen in love with this paper pad and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I will link Carmen's site down in that description box below. I know that she would love to have you as a customer and I know that you would love to have this paper. Now do you know why this is one of my favorite videos? Not only did I get so many amazing cards and the notes this month were so touching, literally one of them made me cry. And then a couple fun gifts. Thank you so much to those ladies. It is always amazing to see the talent, kindness, generosity of all of my subscribers. I'll be back tomorrow with the brand new sheet load of cards, which I will give you a little, it's not really a sneak peek, but a heads up that it is going to be the 60th sheet load I am sharing here on YouTube and we're celebrating with an alternative size card. So hope to see you here tomorrow. And until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I use in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.